Hello there YouTube, it's your boy King Sunny here, back with another video. Today I will show you how to manually high press on FIFA 22. Manual high pressing is one of the biggest skill gaps in FIFA. I think it is the biggest skill gap. I said right stick switching is the biggest skill gap. Why? Because right stick switching is what allows us to manually high press. Talking about right stick switching, watch this video and then come back to this video. Because if you don't know how to right stick switch, then you cannot manually high press. Let's analyze these clips. Let's show you how you can do this. It's a very high level of skill gap but you can definitely learn it i believe in you guys okay the first thing that we need to pay attention is we need to analyze our opponent and anticipate analyze and anticipate what are his options on the pitch right over here we can see we have got so many players forward right we've got one two three four five and there's a six guy and our back line is straight as well remember the key to defense is always to have a straight back line what this does is it allows us to manually high press our opponent what are his options right his desai is on the ball and what are his options desai is options not many options he has on the ball right there is this guy over here on the radar we can see his full back he's probably gonna go there and he's probably gonna pass to salah right salah is running he's probably gonna pass to him I, I'm covering that pass with Vinicius Jr. Okay, we're covering that pass with Vinicius Jr. And we are using R1 to second man press. I have made a video on second man press. The link is up here. Watch it as well. Okay, now what happens? Keep applying pressure. And then eventually, because he had to pass to Salah, now he knows that we have already marked Salah. So he looks for the inside route toward Desai. Right? He tries to pass inside to Desai. What we do? We run with Matheus at him. And then we quickly switch to him. Remember the key is to think one step ahead. Because I am thinking one step ahead. You can see I have already selected Lorente using the right stick switch. And I am trying to run into him and get the ball back from Sadio Mane. Right? And now this is where the key is. I have surrounded his Mane. Right? The only pass he can make realistically right now is to this guy. To Bruno Fernandes. And even over there my Cruyff is standing so this is where we want our opponent to be just what was the key we thought one step ahead we right stick switch before he made the pass and we made him pass where we wanted him to pass remember make him pass where you want to make him pass right this is how teams the high press in real life as well and what happens because he was so you know he was so scared where to pass he panicked he gave us the ball back it's an elite division game and over here you can see once again anticipation we lose the ball and we immediately select Messi and we run at him look first we select Messi we run at him and then we select Lorente after sele selecting Lorente we have covered his this pass then he tries to pass towards the winger and what happens sorry it was Rashford and we get the ball back so what is the key once again we will move it forward look right now we have switched Messi we run with Messi Immediately select in select Lorente, mark the pass inside because most of you guys will make this pass inside. It's always about thinking one step ahead. We keep holding the second man press, so Messi applies pressure to this guy. And what happens? We eventually get the ball back. So what have we learned so far? We have learned so far that in order to do the manual high pressing, first thing we need to learn is the right stick switching. After learning the right stick switching, we need to anticipate our opponent and always think one step ahead. Right stick switch just before he makes a pass and try to intercept his passes and always think one step ahead because if we are thinking one step ahead then we are ahead of him in the game if we are ahead of him in the game then we can win the ball 8 to 10 8 times out of 10 right you won't get the ball every time but that's how it is right over here we will see the use of the offside trap as well you can see over here boys anticipation and radar i always tell people to use the radar if you are not using the radar you will not realize you have a left back who's standing over here what this guy does he's sprinting when the opponent is sprinting he is not having a ball contact what is a ball contact a ball contact is basically when the opponent is touching the ball right now his salah is away from the ball look there is a slight distance between the ball carrier and the ball what this allows us it allows us to tackle the ball because if the ball is further away from his feet it is easier to get the ball away from him i know that he is sprinting because he is sprinting he is not having a ball contact and we just go 
and get the ball back. It is very important to pay attention on the ball contacts. If your opponent is not having a ball contact, if he is doing a skill move, if he is running with the ball, then it is the ideal opportunity to run at him with confidence and get the ball back. Over here, once again, look. We are using R1 second man press to apply pressure with Messi on his Theo while covering this run to his player. Now he has to turn back eventually and then we select to Cruyff and switch to Cruyff and cut his pass to Bruno Fernandes. Let's have a look at it again. You see, this is not very difficult. If you know the controls, it is not very difficult. Look, first thing we do, switch to Messi. Sorry, not over here, over here, before he turned back, right? Switch to... Messi then switch to Hakimi, cover the run because if I don't switch to Hakimi, he will make the through pass and he will be in behind my defense. I don't want to do that. Remember, the priority is always to cover the dangerous run while applying pressure. We do that. What happens? He is forced to turn back. We switch back to Cruyff and with Cruyff, we mark his Bruno Fernandes and we get the ball back. You see, boys, it's all about anticipation and thinking one step ahead. If you are constantly one step ahead of the opponent and you are in his head, and you're using the radar, then you'll get better. That's why I tell people to watch lots, lots of pro matches. Because if you watch lots of pro matches, then of course you will get better. Talking about pro matches, boys, I have now started streaming on Twitch. The link is in the description. Twitch.tv slash Tingsari27. If you can follow me, I will be highly indebted, boys. And yeah, over there, over here you can see, we are going to use the offside trap. What does the offside trap do? It pushes our team up. Our team basically plays an offside trap. Hence, giving us more giving us the opportunity to press the opponent higher right because we do that our line pushes up and what happens this guy was basically looking to pass towards his striker because he was looking to pass towards his striker and we timed our offside trap since he's playing a 4-4-2 his son is marked by this guy and his, our Matthäus is marking his money he's just you know he shits his she shits himself and makes this pass and because he's not facing the direction where he's passing into, what happens? We get the ball back. So, boys, pressing is basically just thinking one step ahead of your opponent. Just using the art of right stick switching and combining second man press. Over here, I use team press. Why? Because I know that he's passing behind his back. I was constantly pressing him. I know he's confused. So, when your opponent is confused and he's not very confident on the ball, use the team press. And you will get. You will see that we will... It is a risk, but we end up getting the ball back. Also, I use step up on all my defenders because I love to manually high press the opponents, boys. With that being said, boys, this is today's video of manual high pressing. Watch it a couple of times because if you watch it once, you won't understand it to the fullest. Hopefully, you liked the video. If you did, make sure to click that like button. Thank you so much for your support. Make sure to come over on Twitch and support me there as well. Until next time, it's me, King Sunny. Out. See you.